This video is to emphasize the beginning stages of the reed. When you're first scraping it and what to listen for. It really doesn't matter what the cane is like or what the gouge is like and so on. It's You want similarities uh, when you're doing this. So we're going to begin with a, scraping a tip here. Rough, roughly. Normally I measure, get it started and measure. We'll see where we're at. We want it to be about, yeah, it's a little long. We'll bring it back somewhat. And we're just concentrate on getting like a smooth plane, just roughly getting the, the bark and the shell. And I know a lot of beginning reed makers, they kind of struggle with not knowing how much needs to come off. But you do need to get to the wood. And we can see that we've gotten through the bark and the shell. And now I'm just going to um, separate the two. I use a plaque for this and I just pull through. It is relatively simple to do it that way. I think this, we want this end to be a little thinner. And we want it to kind of make a peep. So we'll get it to a point where once we get the tip somewhat thin, not overly thin, we're not going, but a nice tapered, you know, have a nice straight taper if you can get it. But try not to dip. Try just to get a straight taper. And it looks like, you know, sort of the beginnings of a French reed. Focus a little bit more on the end here. Maybe a little bit on the sides. And we'll see if it makes a sound. It may or may not be soaked enough. Make sure you have an opening worth blowing into. Yeah, it's got a little peep, right? So it's peeping. Uh, I'm going to work a little bit more on the tip. Make sure it's soaked. You definitely want to make sure the cane is soaked when you're doing this. And well soaked before you start as well. All right, soak it for 20 minutes in warm water. It'll be easier to work with. The cane's easier to work with and it'll vibrate more. You want the cane to vibrate at its maximum potential. And that's what this is about. Getting it to do that. I might just go in on the sides here because they're a little heavier. We're eventually going to make them thinner anyway. And that will also get it to vibrate a bit more. Tip is a little thinner. It's a little easier to play, probably. Yeah, so it's peeping. Now we want it to rattle. Because no matter what reed you do, or the cane, or the style, or what have you, you do, you're only going to get as much from the reed as it will give you in the rattle. You won't get more from it. And so. I'm going to scrape the channels for that. Rattle is important. I think people overlook it. It tells you a lot about the reed. The kind of overtones it's going to have the quality of the sound. It's really, you hear a lot of that in the rattle. And let's see if we got some rattle. This is what we have as far as reed's concerned. It's kind of, um, not too thin. There's our rattle. Now, it's not overly, uh, it's not really deep, which is okay. But this is uh, essentially, when you rattle, get the rattle in the reed, it, it's going to tell you how much you're going to get out of the reed. And I know this is a weird kind of concept, but 
you're really not going to get more out of the reed than what the rattle is going to give you. And you can go too far with uh, doing this. But it's also a good point to tell you that you've gone far enough in that first stage, in your initial stage of making the reed, that what's important is to get that rattle. You want to hear that. Now, some reed makers go further than that. See, that's plenty of rattle right there. And listening to it, it's, it's not very deep, and it doesn't have a lot of overtones, but it, it is vibrating, and so we're going to go with it. The next step really, well, I have to even this out. You can see that's one side's a little longer than the other. So we're going to bring this side back. I think maybe if I'd soak the cane some more, it might get some more out of the rattle, but this, you know, it seems like it's kind of a hard piece of cane, and this is what I'm going to get out of it. I think we have enough to work with, though. So, let's see what we got. That's some definition. So now we can clip it till we get a crow. That's plenty of rattle. And the pitch will go up. Keeps going up. So we're kind of got a quasi rattle crow going on. It's almost a C, or maybe just under. And the reed is a bit long, but we haven't scraped the back yet. This is what we have. And we're a little long, but I may bring it back in the uh, in the finishing of it. I don't mind it if it's just a bit longer than 66 at first. We can bring it back. And uh, we probably will. Let's see if I can get closer here. Here we go. May redefine the tip a little bit. Um, now I haven't gone nuts with the tip, right? I haven't gone overly over definition. I mean, we have a tip. It's there. You can see it, right? You see the tip. Still not quite even, but you can definitely see it. The beginnings of it. Relatively straight. It's relatively defined. Now we're going to go after the back because it is a long scrape. And because our gouges are a bit heavier here in the States, stateside of North America, maybe South America too, I don't know. But it's slightly heavier, so we have to remove the back. Um, I'm going to try to do this. So it's symmetrical. I tend to dig at first when I'm doing the back, and I know that's probably not the best way, but it's, it helps me get the bark and the shell off. If you just scrape the surface, it takes a little longer, it takes a little bit more scraping, you know. Now what happens is, when we get to this, Is that the reed, the pitch is going to go down quite a bit, and you will have to clip it to get it up to pitch. So let's do that. See, we got our rattle back, and the tip is quite substantial. One more little one here. It's about a C. About that. That's a C. And there you have it. So the tip's kind of heavy, you can see, but we got our rattle and now we have our crow, and now we're just going to define the tip to finish the reed. Which will in turn bring the lower the pitch of the crow. And I'm just kind of defining here. And uh, because it is somewhat of a strong 
piece of cane, and so therefore you, you do need the definition. Uh, we can do more on the corners of the tip after we balance the tip with the back. And that's in uh, final finishing. But what we're doing right now is we're just getting a rough, rough beginning to the reed. I think we got a tip that's pretty reasonable. I'll scrape some corners here. It's very general scraping, right? I'm not really doing fine scraping. We're just, it's more like um, function of the reed. We want it to function. And I think we got something pretty close. The tip is more reasonable in its thickness and uh, it still has a nice taper and has decent definition I think we can see somewhat blended definition on this side we we'll probably have to balance it some more and the back is not over overly scraped but it is visible let's clip it Just a little more. I'll just play it. So it does play. So there you have it. All right, very simply done for the beginning stages of the reed. It's not finished, but it's definitely has a good beginning. You could let this reed sit overnight and then work on it a little bit more tomorrow. Do some finishing of the tip, very light finishing. Maybe scrape a little out of the back or in the channels, whatever it needs. If it's the pitch is high, you could scrape down the channels of the heart. And you're going to have a reed that works for you. So good luck with that.